What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to the Wall. Let's play as Louisiana. To the round of where we left off, we have been fighting previously in Scandinavia against the, Indi uh, against the, um, the Swedish. However, we are now back in India and we are attacking this force sitting west of Hyderabad to allow us to more easily crack the city open. So without further ado, let's crack on and engage. So it's more important than ever, I think. When fighting against the uh, the Mughal Empire or, or either of the any of the Indian factions, really, is that you do need to engage their forces on the field wherever you find them. You can't afford to let them mass, unless of course they are already massed. Come on, Wazdi, come on. There we go. Hmm. So I need to get a new keyboard as well. Okay, 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 let's deploy a more conventional formation. So I, I always like spacing them out this way because then you get a good amount of protection for your artillery. You get you spread the art you spread the artillery support out a bit rather than having it concentrated. It's also a bit less vulnerable from any charges. We've now got quick iron, which is good news. Put some light cavalry on each flank. Drop a general's bodyguard in the center and then let's take him out. Probably going to push up on the left flank, put my cavalry slightly further out because they've got a armoured cavalry unit there. We're engaging them with a significant amount of artillery fire, including quickline, which isn't quite what I'd rather have them do. So what I want to do is deploy my infantry into square, run my cavalry like so. Some will get caught by the Sipahi. I want to run my cavalry this direction to draw them towards me rather than engage their lance cavalry. Field artillery engage the camel gunners. You guys engage the Vashi. There we go. So what I want to do is draw them into my square where I can more easily neuter them. This cavalry is charging them straight through the middle. And it did not work. Although I do have to admit, this is quite a depleted force, because it's one of the forces that we have already engaged. Yeah, those guys will be okay. Let's go cavalry further out. Where's our other cavalry? It's here. So there we go. Those musketeers have been annihilated by quicklime, so that's exactly the kind of scenario I want to deploy my light cavalry. Get my artillery firing canister shot. There's my horse. Let's push them up. Camels have been routed. General's bodyguard is wandering around, so don't lose sight of them. Ignore the armed, ignore these armed swordsmen. Yeah, there's Union Musketeers chasing my cavalry down. So let's run back, engage the swordsman, let's get some artillery that can engage to go hit that unit of musketeers that's at full strength. Drop you guys into quick into uh, drop you guys into square, let's get this infantry on the run. Let's start to pick some targets for our howitzers that are a bit out of the way. So General's bodyguard. Let's get him to go straight down here. Start to try and pick up some of these dervish units to the rear. You 
guys run straight through. Because these musketeers are going to fire no matter what. So just run straight through. Try and hit the dervishes. You chase down those swordsmen. They're falling back lots of their troops to try and deal with our cavalry. Because that's doing quite a good job of destroying their armies in the field. You go after the dervishes, you go after that, you go the dervishes, you go after that, you go the dervishes. Come on, let's push up at high speed. try and provide new enemies. So let's run my cavalry out of the way. There you go, these guys, the musketeers are already having to redeploy to deal with my infantry. There we go, the musketeers can't afford to hang about and chase down my cavalry, not when there's a bunch of angry infantry on the way. Position these men ready to go charge into this unit of Kizilbashi musketeers. My general's been killed. He shot off his horse. So you guys are going to kill the dervishes and then go after that musketeer unit. You guys continue to attack the dervishes. Ooh, bad quick line. All you guys stop firing. All the quick time focus on this unit. All my field artillery engage the general bodyguard. push up to engage some of these fellows oh yes they're caught on a corner good do some good work there cavalry yeah I mean, if they're not if they're gonna let you kill that last elephant that'd be great and go after the gunners stop my artillery fire General's going to do some damage to these musketeers, but not the knockout blow you like. These gunners are a great target because they're limbered up, which means they're nice and slow. Stop our howitzers from engaging anymore. So you guys kill this artillery crew, wherever the hell they are. Are they over? Rather, tr rather you try and took out the infantry rather than the guns. Let's continue. Just keep right clicking, keep refresh refreshing the. Uh, well, it's sort of like it refreshes the engagement logic and it repathfinds and goes, aha, that's where they are. I'd say they're dispersed, so they might be difficult to hit. There's Levy of Routed. So now it's all about wherever the hell these. This gunner is, because it's not usually these guys. Not usually, anyway. What can be easier, though, is just to run away. There we go. A near, a, near, a near location. Artillery round. Knock them out. So that's pushed 
that army. Well, that'll put, push it westward towards Goa. Although it's down to 500 men, it's just over two units here. Need men spend time replenishing. Yeah, still replenishing. I want both these guys to be at full strength before pushing on to Satara. You could probably demand the surrender of Hyderabad and take it without without fighting for it, considering the garrison is so weak. Good stuff. Ready for order. Although I don't like what I'm going to have to do now. Actually, no, good. They're not bringing any reinforcements in, so we can auto resolve to secure. Pleasure Gardens. We've got two Pleasure Gardens. They don't need two. Oh, they've got three. Do they have a university here? No. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not down this... Not down this brothel. Knock down this Pleasure Garden. Let's get them built up to be centres of wealth production. You can also resolve that fight because they're all completed. Yeah. We are mighty and unbowed. Repair the college, the well, Jesuit college. Push you guys up to the fort Forward. once more. Fight. Repair the spices, sir. Your orders. So you're up ready to intercept those guys, but I don't want them running over the crossing point. This army want to push up and take destroy all armies north of the river and these three armies can push up and head towards Akbarabad. I mean this guy under Didier Vauban is a bit he's a bit isolated for now until the front moves up. But in general I think that's a good idea. So these guys are still hunkering down. Can you hit Gunner? No. She was wanting to be in a better position to attack him rather than I didn't, want to, I didn't want to push him up through these hills. Chap school. Well, let's get rid of you. Norway is going to become a good Catholic town. No matter what you guys have to say about it. I serve the Lord's will. Two turns till sediment fortifications are built. You can build some extra... Let's get some... Uh, one unit of regiment étranger. A unit of mercenaries because it feels thematically correct, and then we can get some cavalry. Chasseur Cheval. Don't like you don't like skirmish cavalry. I know, it's just not really. I mean, range 120, so they roughly slightly outrange regular line, but it's still not I don't know. It's not as good as having a proper set of cuirassiers storm in and smash an army to bits. So we're still at war with France, we're at war with Spain. London is recruiting new force, which will actually have a contingent of fusiliers this time. As well as two units of mercenaries. Next turn we get steam engines. Let's hop back over to India and just check. So you're in good shape. You're, this is an army originally built up as reinforcements only. Let me drop that militia in there. And forward. Oh, they're still minus two. There's no rush to bring them up to the front. Mark. Especially if they can't build. Ooh, 24 pound of guard artillery. And some Maison de Roi. Probably would divest myself of some infantry in order to in order to um, build my build up some more cavalry or some better cavalry ah yes and you being a naval hospital you can build a colonial militia we've still got one little ship down here causing us grief second rate in a first rate ship of the line the oceans are we lost a ship but we're going to take their first rate into our service ready, ready. to offset the loss of our warship. And this fleet, the Patrice Le Notre, is becoming incredibly elite. Awesome. 
Okie dokie, let's hit N10 and see how things progress. So Britain's going to be Britain and he's going to wander around. There's a sizable French Navy. Is that in the Havre or Dunkirk area? I think. So it might be worth building up my fleet in Portsmouth a bit to make it a bit stronger, just in case they attempt to uh, to dominate the channel. So Austria captured Cologne. It looks like they have. Like down here, this territory is no. This border territory is now friendly. Oh, they're pushing on Paris. That's what you get, France. That is what you get. Ha! <laughs> that depleted force is march marching south to try and intercept our... Or try to assault Norway. Not going to happen. Okay, he just ran around us like a sly devil. Some, so some of these armies foresee Bengal as being weak, which it is not. There's one arm, there's a garrison in the town, and there's two full armies in front of it, ready to intercept armies heading south. So we've now got the steam engine, and we're just working on we're starting to work on wedge formation. I think not. It's probably not worth you researching any of these, because that's what Cambridge is going to focus on. You may as well do Wedge, really. It's... I mean, preserved foods might be useful. No, let's do Wedge. Okay, so we've got an army coming that's going to be entering Norway from the north up here. We've got this guy that thinks he's going to win trying to besiege our garrison especially when this guy is just That's over right. here we've also got this army that's attempting to flank us so we're going to outflank them and go back to our defensive position here we could engage them but i'm i'm okay with playing it steady Humble, sir. pull this guy back to force him to take a funny route around Lord. this army to be honest, you can probably pull back to about here just to create an envelop enveloping yes, sir. zone of control. And this army can push up to this hill. I have quite a wide control zone ready to intercept this force. But yeah, once we take out these armies marching towards us, they're not going to have. Well, the forces near Bengal are going to be shattered then at that point. Okay, let's pair. Actually, no, one of these needs to be a church school. Let's drop. Okay, let's do a Ready bit of a swap. Well, no, you need to be in there, really, because you're the the garrison that may be attacked by these forces. So you can still... These guys can still support from there. You can't support from where you are, so you may go here. Could also destroy that force in port, although what would be yes. very tempting to do is march this guy to Satara and siege them. Then my Goan garrison march and attack this force here. Yes. Well, let's do just that. Because now we've garrisoned the fort, they can't support this battle. We can destroy them, and then they can't defend the fortress. So let's go and take them out. It is very nice when they disperse their armies into nice consumable chunks for us to consume. It's very, very considerate of them. Of course, this is Theodore's first main action, I think, in India. So let's deploy my artillery. Let's form 
two brigades of infantry, roughly about six strong. Well, you guys can have skirmishes. Bring our native foot down the centre. We've got one howitzer unit dropping quick climb, so they're going to be in demand. Cavalry on each flank. General will join them. bear in mind is they're probably going to have mortars well they're going to have mortars drop quick light on us so we're going to run our infantry walk up our cavalry the howitzer can't they can drop some quick climb on the cavalry guards oh these guys are walking no 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 that might be very ambitious to try and push them up that close. My native um, warrior auxiliary, I want them to run in and start to dismantle the great guns. Yeah, I think that's being a bit ballsy. This infantry, so you may form a position that looks more like this. that gap the native troops go in the infantry on the right flank have progressed extraordinarily well so you push up here you push up to there these four keep pushing around the flank again just let my native troops go to work against their gun crews chase down that 24 powder can you drop into square formation these guys can run around turn their flank you guys stop firing if anything run down the center to help out the native troops. You guys are now officially running up too far, so stop short. There we go. Square. Square formation has repelled their infantry. Quick climb those pikemen. My melee infantry can pull back. You guys can take up a position here, you guys can go between the buildings here. So we should be tearing these bowmen a new one, which when they break we can then shut this foot. We can then rotate these troops up to about here, really start to encircle the centre of gravity of their armies. I mean to be honest most of these guys are, well these guys are pretty knackered. Let's go round shot with my howitzer and hit the camel gunners. All my artillery focus on the general's bodyguard. You guys drop into square. You're about to get hit by heavy cavalry. It's not great. Okay, there we go. Pikemen have been routed. Push up. You guys hit the levy. Who are you? We'll just levy as well. You guys need to fire. Why do they not have fire? Well turned on. Because you were sat behind. Yeah, fair enough. Let's charge this heavy cavalry down the hill. Probably into the back of these Hindu warriors. I mean, they, they're getting into, they're very much getting into the thick of it. Ah, and they're also being shot in the back. That didn't help. Yeah, my men didn't get close enough. You guys charge that unit of bowmen, you guys charge this levy, you guys run in. That's my light cavalry as well. My heavies. My heavies are fighting the levies on the other flank. 
Native American infantry push around the flank. So you guys form up and so while my 24th regiment holds them in position, the 48th can fire broadside after not broadside. Volley after volley after volley into them. Yeah, that square finally broke. Understandable. Let's stop my how I thought artillery firing, because I've got a feeling it could be that that's causing the discomfort. Let's also bring this re retreating unit of troops back. Let's also begin to more aggressively rotate the units here. Okay, you guys now charge into the levee. I mean, don't run that way. You guys need to run around this combat and try and circle them. Native warrior auxiliary are holding their own against the levy and the Hindu warriors. My native. Okay. Graciers, get the hell out of Dodge. They got met by a angry circle of pikemen so let's run you back in and around into the combat you guys should be doing some good work against these troops they're really levy and kizzle bashy musketeers so they aren't fantastic quality these men are going to rattle off some good fire by rank until the yeah there we go the hindu warriors are also after my cuirassier run these troops around here to try and support my native war auxiliary and they're winning kind of foot are engaging general's bodyguard's going to go down pikemen have routed again so let's get my cavalry back into the mix get my grenadiers back in a position to try and flank and surround then I think they are. See, they're both they're both confident, which is surprising. If the Hindu warriors get stuck in. That would turn the tide there. These men are very much just um, holding their own until this other flank comes in. And right now, everyone's after this Hindu musketeer unit. It's going to break. And then I can pivot my troops around, like so. Or not like so. Oh, dump into square, because they those kind of charging. Charge my cuirassiers at the back of the Hindu warriors. Good there, just place them. That's my light infantry up there. So yeah, now my 48th regiment that was isolated is now the isolated one. So you these men can form up. Actually, no, you need to charge in. There's enough of my men in the way that if they fired broadside in, they do a lot of damage. So swarm in, charge the levy. Go. Should see them off. Those Hindu warriors are a concern. But not so much when these other formations get into the fight. So you've got the, fir the first regiment of foot. Getting in against the Hindu warriors that are wavering in the levee that are just shaken. These guys charge into the Hindu warriors. New men charge into the levee. Stop our howitzers from firing because they're causing a, bit of, a few problems. These men are just levee, so they will practically melt. My skirmishers can hold their ground. 
everyone attack the Hindu warriors. As they are shattered. They are shattered. Good stuff. A lot scrappier than I would have liked. But the point is that that is a... That's a f damn near a full stack that's been utterly destroyed. Well, they have managed to flee northward. We can retrain our troops to a certain degree. We can try and push some militia reinforcements up, but I don't think there's any need. You could likely attack the city Settlement yourself, because you've got... Well, yeah, you definitely could. Plenty of artillery and lots of... Lots of spare capacity. But I think I'd like... Well, I'd like to move these guys out, but I can't. You guys try and... You kill him again? Or try, anyway. He's failed. Ah, uh, yes. Christiana. Let's march this guy down. Actually, no, march him over here. Ah, oh, nuts. Um, let's sally. Because we'll bring him in his reinforcements anyway. And I'm not really bothered if it's my garrison or my reinforcing army that takes the hit. Um, but, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Hopefully the destruction of the last major army uh, within this part of Scandinavia. Cheers everyone.